Hello, good day. I'm so excited to show you my Capstone project. It's a React app I built. This is a front-end React application, uh, which consumes an API, which I also built. I guess that's the whole idea, full-stack web developer Capstone project. So I built the back-end and the front-end together. So, and it gives us this. So uh, I'm going to, let me show you what the front-end and everything looks like. Then we look at the code so you appreciate it more. Now it looks like there is nothing here, but I bet you there's a lot, a lot more. So I uh, yeah, now, takes you to register or sign up, learn more, takes you to this. So book your ride, takes you to register as well. So when you sign in, if I have an account, let's say, okay, let's create an account. So user password, sign up. So you have our Redux, the request is going on and loading is set to true. So contacting our API. Okay. so. That is it. So everything loaded and the cars have been loaded and we have a list of the cars here where you could learn more to see details of the car. And you could also add something to favor, right? Add this one. Oh, let me add BMW. So when you go to, you see add favorite request, add favorite success. So when you go to favorite car, you see the two things I've added. So you have fetch favorite request, fetch favorite success so that happens on the redox store which is taking a look at all the actions that you have and i also use uh, the axios to consume the api as well uh, let me quickly show you that so so i have my base url on this uh, api and i also have a header so that we set the authorization token on the local storage for every request i made uh, also on this front end, I built a couple of things. I did testing uh, on the snapshot on each of the components as well. So that's basically it for the front end application. Uh, you log in user, you could log out to user, which takes you back to the sign in page and you can go back home. And if you try to access the cars page, uh, you see it takes you back to the login page. So there is fetch car request, there's fetch car failure. You will need to log in first which comes from our API, of course. So let's look at the API, what it looks like. So on this API, we have different uh, different front end, uh, different endpoints, the register endpoint, the login, the users, the cars, uh, post the car, get cars, delete a car, uh, edit a car, delete a user, edit a user, post a favorite, get a favorite. Uh, so although I didn't have much time to implement some of the uh, nice to have features I would love to like having a separate admin panel because I had already factored that into my uh, design that I'm going to implement that and also uh, I had to delay one day in submission of this project because I had a problem with Heroku deploying my app to Heroku I deployed everything was working fine but uh, I believe the headers were not uh, recognizing the token on the header so but it was working locally perfectly fine so that was one of the main issue I didn't submit on time yesterday so moving on I also did an API documentation for my application using for my API using the postman so it's well detailed for any user who wants to use the API so for post login so you have a body raw and you have a call location request for get all users you need authorization get all cars you need authorization so you have something like this um, to post the car and the rest so add to favorite you have something so given that the user is logged in you just need to send the car id and that's all so uh basically that's much more to it let's look at the back end uh it was really really one of the most excited moment you starting from the api development to the testing i enjoyed the api most of all so I also use uh, the author DJWT token for authentication. I created a service which handled that, so which called the authentication token service. So uh, using the JWT uh, a package to decode and encode the tokens based on the user ID and also expiry date. I set the expiry date to 24 hours from the time it generates it. So after every 24 hours, the token will expire, of course. So I make sure I check the expired, make sure it's not expired. So if you have that, you have this error expired token login again. And also one of the other cool features I, I used was representation. Representers, instead of using a, uh, all this serialized gem and the rest, I preferred using this because I have more control of how I want my data to be generated. So you could remove a lot of unused features. So let's say like cars, I could have just say render car. So we would have car representer to re render the certain car based on this 
so you would generate the id you could even bring in maybe the owner card or user or username so we would have a lot of control on what we want the user to see how we want the data to be represented so this is much more convenient for me i love it uh, one other thing is uh, the test so we we did a, a lot of tests the authentication test we test for uh, the login url we test for uh, the car request making sure there is a header on the authorization uh, it was really uh, a nice experience working with this project so uh, i'm more than confident in working with api after uh, i was done with this project so it gave me a whole lot of confidence a whole level of confidence my confidence went to the roof so i'm so excited to show you this project uh, i hope you enjoy it i hope you find it useful as much as i do thank you very much